Hello there, stock market is down, crude oil is down, and gold is down. Time for a market review and outlook. And we are starting with the general stock market, we are looking at S&P 500. I think there is a pretty good chance that we've seen the intermediate cycle low on the 27th of September. Yes, there could be one more move down to say retest this 200 day moving average. And there is perhaps around 30% chance of that before the intermediate cycle actually finishes and the stock market moves into the rallying stage of a new cycle. Anyway, we've either already seen this intermediate cycle low a few days ago or we are close to one taking place over the next week or so. After all, we are already observing all of the necessary signs for this intermediate cycle low. We've seen a lower low in the declining phase of this intermediate cycle. The 14 day RSI lightly tapped on this oversold level around 30. In fact, RSI has been at the lowest level since October last year. We've also seen multiple, multiple pokes below these uh, relatively wide Bollinger Bands. All those, as I mentioned in many of my previous videos, are signs of an intermediate cycle low and an upcoming reversal in momentum, which would uh, align relatively well with usual durations of these intermediate cycles. Usually those last for around a half a year, often a bit longer than that. The low on the 27th of September would imply a cycle lasting for 198 days. Next, moving on to crude oil, it's actually near the top of its cycle. We've likely seen the top of the cycle just a few days ago on the 28th of September. The intermediate cycle started over here at the end of June. That gives us a cycle lasting for over three months already. Again, usually crude oil cycles do last for slightly less than half a year. That's at least over the last six years since mid-2017. The current cycle is 97 days long, so it's uh, pretty likely that we've already topped and the intermediate cycle is now in its declining phase. Perhaps a bit of a bounce from this 50-day moving average as well as the recent top in mid-August. But as we often observe, bounces within the declining phase of an intermediate cycle do often end with a lower low and a true intermediate cycle low. So within this expectation of a declining down into the intermediate cycle low, as I mentioned in some of my recent videos on energy, I and the members at myfinanceteacher.org have recently reduced our positions in energy. But in the very long term, I'm still bullish on energy, including crude oil. So once this intermediate cycle low actually takes place, I am looking forward to get back into larger positions. On the longer term scale, as the recent top coincides pretty well with this resistance I mentioned recently, around $92.5, we see perhaps a bit of a cup and maybe a bit of a handle forming with a cup and handle above that as well. Technically, such formations are usually bullish and in the longer term, based on fundamentals, the future for energy is quite hot. Lastly, let's talk about precious metals, but as we often do before that, let's have a look at the US dollar, which has rallied higher than I expected. In some of my recent videos, as well as more detailed posts for the members at myfinanceteacher.org, I mentioned I was expecting a couple of scenarios for the US dollar, and this red scenario has actually played out with a poke above my expectation. By now, though, this short-term daily cycle is 34 days long, Usually these short-term daily cycles on the US dollar last for around a couple of months. So I do expect the US dollar to generally cool down during October. Looking at RSI, it's at the highest level since, again, October last year. And as for another sign of an impending reversal in momentum, we see multiple pokes above um, relatively wide Bollinger Bands. And this uh, possible reversal in momentum, uh, perhaps relatively soon, seems due to take place if you look at the weekly candles. We see 12 weekly green candles for the US dollar, and it uh, doesn't happen frequently. The last time the US dollar gave us 12 green weekly candles in a row was at the beginning of this bull market in 2014, when the US dollar rallied significantly from below 80 to above 100. Here around the beginning of second half of 2014, we see again 12 green weekly candles which, of course, gave us pokes above those Bollinger Bands and a couple of red weekly candles after that. So a dollar is due for a bit of a pullback. 
meaning that gold is likely giving us the true end of the intermediate cycle. So talking about this uh, true end, what I mentioned in one of my recent videos on precious metals is this question mark in late August, representing our concern whether we've seen the intermediate cycle low ending in late August, perhaps a little bit early based on the average duration, or were we expecting a bit of a lower low for that true intermediate cycle low. And uh, yes, to be honest, in the previous video on gold, I did mention that as time moves on, the likelihood of this blue scenario was becoming a bit higher. Perhaps that was a bit premature of me, as gold, after all, did follow this uh, red scenario with uh, significantly uh, lower levels than I expected. But this short-term pain at the moment is going to pay off in the intermediate term as well likely forming the intermediate cycle low around these days, perhaps sometime this week, stretching that intermediate cycle to over 200 days. The previous cycle was uh, pretty short, including only two daily cycles. And the 14-day RSI on gold is at the lowest level all the way back since 2017. What happened at that time, I do remember that quite clearly, was again a very extended and painful decline down into the intermediate cycle low, remember in that election year. And notice that this decline followed after a couple of very productive intermediate cycle rallies. What we've seen this year is again a couple of very productive intermediate cycle rallies. And of course it does take time for the markets to cool down, for the sentiment to drop down to those uh, blood on the street levels before a new intermediate cycle rally can take place. Zooming into what's happening right now, gold is approaching that support zone from the previous intermediate cycle low around 1800, 1805. And perhaps today might be the actual low with this a bit of a reversal candle forming up. We'll see what happens to gold price as the markets open in the US. After all, since July, this commercial shorts this red line has decreased from uh, above a negative 200,000 to under negative 140,000 right now. So the commercials, the smart money, the banksters are reducing their short positions, which is generally a positive sign as well. That is all for now. Hold on, don't play with too much leverage and have a terrific Tuesday.